Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. I was just reading, there's a new Canon 24-70 f2.8L lens coming. And apparently it's got a new optical formula. It's kind of interesting here because um, I'm, I was reading this on Canon Rumors and they dug it up from Northlight. Uh, and Northlight had uncovered a patent, they say, relating to a zoom lens design with two aperture stops. Within the patent are two different optical formulas, one for a 16 to 35 to 8 and another for a 24 to 70 to 8. So it's covering two lenses, this patent. Um, according to Northlight, the aim is to produce a zoom lens with a constant minimum aperture but having small variations in lens aberrations when focusing near and far. The second aperture stop is varied as the lens zooms. So that's kind of interesting, looking for better optical quality in the sense of less aberrations um, from the near to far focusing uh, by doing it with a second aperture stop. Uh, this is, uh, I, I don't think anybody's done anything like this before. Correct me if I'm wrong, if some one of you out there has, has is aware of this being done before, but this, is, this sounds very interesting and new. Um, and I guess my question for you guys is, um, are you still shooting a standard 2.8 uh, zoom, like the 24 to 70 f2.8 from Canon? Uh, so is this of interest to you? Are you still shooting one? Would you upgrade to this new one if it indeed these, these patents come to light and it becomes uh, a thing and it's got better um, quality control because of uh, less aberrations due to this? Would it be something you would upgrade to? Have you already moved on from a standard F2.8 zoom? I know I have, like on the Nikon side, I like the 24 to 120 f4 VR. On the Canon side, 24 to 105 f4 L. Um, I would take one of those over a 24 to 70 f2.8 because then I would just have my fast primes with me. Two weights, you know, not really a thing for me anymore on a zoom because uh, if I want fast, I want faster than that. So I'm going to go to an f1.8 or an f1.4 prime and f4 is more than enough now with the amazing ability of these new cameras. All the new cameras today shoot at very good, very clean high ISOs. Most of the reason in, in the day when they used to build fast zooms was I think more due to the inability of film to shoot at high ISOs. I mean, it used to be ISO 800 was very high speed for film. You're getting quite grainy at that point at one point. So now we don't have to deal with that. So I don't think it's as important. And I think when I want speed for extreme low light or for image separation, um, I want, or bokeh, I want a fast prime, like an F1.8 or an F1.4. But what about you guys? I'm just curious. Are most of you in line with my thinking on this? Or is there a lot of you still shooting a standard 2.8 zoom? Does this new Canon 2.8 with the, um, the second aperture stop? Does it appeal to you? Is it something you'll upgrade to? Let me know in the comments below. Curious to see what you, your thoughts on this are and what you're doing these days. Are you an F4 zoom shooter and primes like myself? Or do you still really like your F2.8 zooms? Let me know in the comments below. Always great to hear back from you guys. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.